those of you who are part of our church family are probably very aware of the story of Hannah. I'm going to try very hard to do this without wheeling. But um, when Hannah was three, she started falling over our feet on our third birthday. We spent the whole day in a &E. Um, they were checking to see if she broke, sprained, couldn't understand why she, I thought it was crooked. Um, so from that point, there's been concerns about our feet. We thought it was our ankles. Um, anyway, uh, last year we got referred to an orthopedic surgeon who basically said that our, our legs, our femur was attached to our hip bone at the wrong angle, basically almost 90 degree, the wrong angle. So our legs were almost 100% rotated the wrong way. Um, the shock of that was that he wanted to basically surgically take our legs off at the top, um, cut the bone, surgically rotate them and then bolt them back on with metal plates. And um, just so that she could walk straight, both sides, um, one surgery at a time, so it would be three to six months recovery on each leg. Just an unbelievable, unbelievable fall. So we paused it, <laughs> for obvious reasons, and we said to Jesus that we could probably not do that. <laughs> and we've told her that, that Jesus was going to fix our legs, and that... She was going to tell people and that he, he was going to be made famous because he was going to turn our legs around. Yeah. She's very matter of fact, so she believed us. <laughs> and uh, on Friday morning, before any prayer had even happened, she came running into our bedroom with the crack of the door, which at the time wasn't appreciated, <laughs> and said, Mummy, 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 watch this, watch this. And she sat down like children do at school, cross-legged like this. Now, Hannah's never been able to do that because her legs were rotated the wrong way. Mm. So she's had to sit on a chair at school with all the disabled <coughs> children um, who can't fold their legs. So she struggled with that through her school life. And um, she had to drop out of dancing, sport was dreadful. She was falling over in the playground. Um, she had to turn up, show them how you used to walk with me. She used to turn her feet right over to balance and walk. So we were shocked. And she said, I think Jesus must be twisting my legs already. <laughs> so we came to the meeting on Friday night expecting a miracle. And um, she lay on the floor and didn't receive any prayer, just slept under the glory. And then she woke up the next morning and said, it doesn't even hurt when I went across my legs. <laughs> so we told Nathan at lunchtime and we prayed for her last night. Those of you who were here, and yeah, it was powerful. And this morning she came in, and normally when she lay on her back, her legs would flex right out because they were attached the wrong way, and they just weren't going that way. So over this three-day period, it's like Jesus has took hold of her fever and just twisted. <laughs> Jesus! 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 Got our legs 90 degrees the wrong way, <laughs> and we've got a Christian orthopedic surgeon, so you shouldn't be surprised. Um, but we've got to get new 